Greetings, everybody. Greetings, Tangerine Cat. Hello. Um, yeah, so uh, as I'm sure, oh, I'm fine, thanks. As I'm sure everyone is aware by now, Ed has flown the coop. He simply couldn't take it anymore. Uh, he had one final outburst at you over what I don't think we're entirely sure. Oh, sorry. I'm just lining this car up. <laughs> no, that's fine. That's fine. Uh, Did you hear? Yeah, I, 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 I have to I, say to you, is this bitch? <laughs> yeah. Um, sorry, he's I'm really he's xenophobic. Um, he, he. I don't know if this is a newfound hatred for the British. Uh, I don't know if he's going to stop using his British accent. He may do, yeah. He may, he may drop his. Well, no, it does a, it does a Southern Irish accent actually, so it's uh, not British. But he sometimes goes into a Scottish one, so yeah, I suppose. So actually, no, he started saying things in a bit of um, an English accent as well. He started to mimic me a little bit, not as well as you do, but yeah, yeah, it's not my strength. Uh, oh, I don't know. I love it. Oh, <laughs> I try my best. Um, I, I th do think that his uh, Irish association was because Angus changed his name. Um, so I wonder yeah. if, like, if, if Angus changed his name to something African, that Cyrax would start talking more like a black guy. No, I think he started when he had to start looking under cars for bombs. I think he thought it was the IRA. Ah, ah. <laughs> interesting. <laughs> Sinn Féin, yeah, I think that's what he started it. Um, but Angus, you see, when he said, oh, actually, it's Angus, not Wengus. Yeah. I thought, well, you pretentious twat trying to spell it it's different to everybody else. And I bet he gets right and he gets right snippy about, well, actually, it's Angus. Like, you're supposed to know that. Come on. Well, so I do spell it Angus like a normal person, you retard rapist RuPaul. To be fair, uh, I, I did see that he was uh, showing like one of his prison tattoos. Uh, I think that is like a part of like their heritage. That's just a theory. And uh, in order to not get raped, he had to convert to, you know, some sort of 
white nationalism or something. Uh, What's that got to do with being Celtic? I don't know. Uh, he seemed to have like a family clan thing on his on his. Um, I saw everybody talking about that, and I don't know anything about it, so I couldn't chime in. But people seem to think that he was it aligned himself with uh, an organization in prison, which is probably the only reason he, he did have legs that weren't broken. Yeah, yeah. It was probably someone's. Mary Jane type person. Yeah, I mean, I've I've never been incarcerated in prison. Uh, I've been briefly detained, you know, very 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 briefly. Um, but uh, I would imagine that like the three things not to call somebody is like a a, a bitch, a punk, or ruble. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not called ruble. Yeah, yeah, like, ruble. Yeah, you know, he's fine being called a rapist, but Rupal crosses the line. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> he's just so resentful of that name. and um, I, I don't know. Uh, he doesn't seem to think very fondly of Chance. I was going to say that maybe when Chance strangles her, uh, he gives him a pass for naming him Rupal. Um, I'm not entirely sure. Um, should I get into the call? Because I'm sure people want to know what led up to this. Yeah, that's why I'm trying not to, I mean, I've got lots to say, but let's get on. Yeah, let yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Let, me, let, me, let me queue it up here. I did put them in the um, call log. In, under J yeah, no, no, I hear I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah, seeing it now. Um, so this is immediately after the outburst. Um, for whatever reason, we just kind of figured it would be best to play this because he's, he's probably at his most afraid. Um, so this happened directly after last night's stream. Yeah, 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 yeah. They got in, he, he got into the uh, the Cyrax Discord, um, and I guess it just wound him up. Uh, so me and Marty going at him, we were just tag team messaging him. And <laughs> he started to, he, he thought he had to goad me into actually taking a call from him when nothing could have delighted me more. It was a, like a little prize after the, <laughs> after last yeah. stream. So here we go. Yeah, I know you're afraid that like even after uh, breaking up, that like he still wouldn't be able to have a profound impact. No, I, I don't. I don't think that's the case. No. Um, okay. And if anything, like chasing away the lifeline to that household, the breadwinner, basically the sole provider. Uh, I, I I don't know what's going to happen to Cyrax, but. All I got to say to you is this, bitch. <laughs> I hope you and Marty are happy. Because if you guys fucking bullying me like you do, and me yelling at you, it just fucking took off and might not be back. So I hope you're fucking happy with bullying me. I'm gonna be now. Why? Why is it our fault? In fact, life is just a yell. We made you yell. Are you that tired? <laughs> I, you can't up. blame this for a shower. Uh, it's just pathetic. Because you and Marty fucking bullying me. Yeah. And me having to defend myself. Yeah. Against you. He left. So I hope you're happy, bitch. I hope you. Possibly the angriest Cyrex. I'm going to play it again. Um, I don't know if people could hear that, but. The call abruptly stopped because Sally went, Chance! Yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Now, I don't know if you put it down or she just pulled the internet out. Yeah, I'm going to play it again. Uh, you know, just zero responsibility or accountability. Who can blame Ed for just wanting to get the fuck out of there? Oh, yeah. I was saying earlier that um, if Chance was a normal-sized man or... You know, a guy over six foot, 
they, they wouldn't put up with this. They'd be actually scared. It's only because he's Chihuahua size instead of Great Dane size <laughs> that he um, that she's kept him. Yeah, but n- nonetheless, she does need Ed as like her her security guard. Um, well, that's so- what. I'm- well, yes, yeah, she does. Yeah, even though he's he's like a nasty chihuahua that yeah, 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 like, right every time she goes past, you know, he'll try bite, you know, being bitey. Um, but he's manageable because he is small, and Ed can manage him. But I don't think Ed could manage a, an actual grown man. Mm, uh, you know, if if you got if you got shouty like that, it'd be scary. It, it it'd scare me. Well, I mean, I would think that, like, for a woman, Ed, even Ed, like, getting shouty, like, you know, when he comes out of the garage, maybe he overdid it. Um, I don't know. I think Ed could take you. You could take, of course you could. No, Ed, I'm saying. Oh, Ed, well, I don't know. It depends on, probably not. He's an old man. No, yeah, he's not. He's 54. Yeah, I know, but I think I could block him. I think I could put my crab to use. Testosterone and skeletal structure. Yeah, true, true. Look, I'm I'm with you on that. I do think that, um, obviously men are stronger than women, so, yeah, he probably could, yeah. Yeah, there's no shame in saying Ed, you know, could... Um... Well, I'm not, I've never been in it. I'm a, I, I know that I swear and things, but essentially I am a lady. And I do like ladies' things, and I don't. I'm not a fighter. I'm not one of those horrible girls who fight. Do you think tormenting a midget is very ladylike? Listen, yeah. <laughs> my boyfriend, I will have you know. Oh. Now I have moved on, but you know, I yeah. was devoted to that man for three months. Understandable, understandable. I think he's just beginning to realize that. You know, your relationship wasn't genuine. I don't know. When we listen to this next call. Sure, here, here. I'm just going to play this one more time because it was, it was too good. All I got to say to you is this, bitch. <laughs> I hope you and Marty are happy. Because of you guys fucking bullying me like you do. And me yelling at you. It just fucking took off. And might not be back. So I hope you're fucking happy with bullying me. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I bet Sally's just terrified. <laughs> you know, like what the fuck are we gonna do? Well, yeah, just about finances, yeah. And um, how she's gonna be cowering in a wardrobe every time he Cyrax goes off. Oh man, it's almost if Ed's gone and it's just Sally, like I hate to say this. But it's open season, you know? Oh, yeah. She'll have to, she'd have to get a job because she'll need to keep giving him little treats, video games and such like. And I would think just like Ed, like any moment outside of the house would be an escape. Yes, I think he would live in his truck, in his van, whatever they call it. Well, yeah, Sally did soup it up for him after she got hit by the bus and collected the settlement. <laughs> She did, and she was yeah. very proud of that. You know, so uh, it's a pickup truck. It, it literally has a, a bed on it. Um, uh, it's you could maybe get a sleeping bag or something like that. Anything to get out of that household. Yes, I, I think he would live in the car that I like they did for a year. He's probably just got his stimulus check. You know, he's probably just getting like a few weeks at some rat hole. I wonder if they'll stay in the motel like she kept telling me to stay in. That's what I was thinking. And he'll be able to maybe meet a lady of the night there. Well, I mean, that's almost a guarantee. Uh, Wow, Sally must... Oh, knowing that he's going to one of these places. uh, With with a pocket full of stimulus money, she's (laughs) got to be furious. Yeah. And I bet he'd find someone without teeth as well. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so she can't even offer that as a a benefit. No, but his stimulus money will run out. 
soon enough, you know. It would, and then he'll go back. He'll say, yeah. oh, I've forgiven, yeah. Then she'd take him back. Yeah, I really hope, like, Sally just throws away the key to, like, the firearm cabinet. Ooh. Well, they've moved it to the... Um, is the garage accessible via the house? Uh, it can be, depending on the house, but I'm not sure if theirs is. That's what I'm thinking. I don't think theirs is. Uh, so I think that um, because they put everything in the garage, maybe it'll be okay because he doesn't go out of the house. Hmm. Did, did they say that? Yes, she told me that's where they put them. Yeah, if anyone wants to go and steal some firearms, just go to 339 Lloyd Street. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how scary the cabinet would be. Does it have to be a metal one? Uh, I don't know. You would think that like a garage doesn't have like a security system either. It's just, you know, there for the taking. Uh, wait a minute. Why, why is it our fault? In fact, life is just a yard. We made you yell. I yeah. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. We made you yell. Are you that child? Are you, you can't blame us for a shell. It's just the fact that you're going to. Yeah, I, lo I, I love how she yells at him. All right, let's get to the call that led up to that. I love this. I, oh, I had so much fun. I'm going to tell you this one time, one time only. You and Marty need to back the fuck off and leave my family the fuck alone. My brother didn't get himself fired. Y'all poke ass motherfuckers <laughs> reporting his shit on his fucking site, on his job site as well. Got him fucking fired, you dumb bitch. Do you know? Uh, yeah, it's on no, his Pinterest. No, no, don't go there, that shit, you dumb ass fuck that. Well, I'm not dumb, Mama. Come on. 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 Up, bitch. This, is this is recent. This is recent. This is recent. You and Marty and your little bitch ass friends are gonna leave me and my family the fuck wrong. My brother didn't deserve to get fired because you pussy ass motherfuckers run your bitch ass mouths. I watch your fake ass for a reason. Cause like Marty, you're a snake ass fucking bitch that deserves to fucking die in hell. Why are you, you so mad? You are cowards. You're fucking cowards. You got my brother fired out of revenge. You did it to get revenge on me, no bitch ass. Way. So your little bitch ass can cut your goddamn throat and die in fucking hell. Revenge for what do you think? I, I did think about that, and I think it's revenge for you. I think he's maybe kind ah, of fair, fair. I've got a, an in, an interest in that. Ah, fair. Yeah, I thought he was referring to uh, you know him dumping you and just blocking you. Ah. Uh, uh. Yeah, how can he say he doesn't hit women? I don't know. I mean, I could. <laughs> he'll, he'll even, he'll even go at people in wheelchairs. He's not. He doesn't discriminate. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I guess he's always whined about discrimination against the disabled. So how could he not live by the same principles? Exactly. So. Yeah. 
it'll, uh, it'll go for the throw on anyone. That's a good point. Bitch, yeah, you don't cut. <laughs> hey, Sarah, why don't you switch your goddamn throat and die in fucking hell where you belong, bitch? Because I'm tired of you and your little bitch ass friends attacking my goddamn family. No, There's no goddamn me, reason. Family. You want me? You want me? You come after me personally. You come after me alone and leave my family the fuck out of it. She, 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 she's calm down. Calm down. Calm down. You and Marty get fucking hurt. Calm down. Yeah, I'm not playing. You leave my. Yeah, you gotta think Ed is just listening this the whole time. Like, what the fuck is going on here? Yeah, and Sally trying to stop him from leaving, like throwing herself on the floor and grabbing his hand. He's about to walk out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, like, like probably shoved like his keys up up, up her ass. You know, <laughs> just clenching on them as tight as possible. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Just like kicking him and, and trying to prevent him, but eventually, obviously, he got her out. He come out. The floor, <laughs> she fell out yeah. because she couldn't keep them. Yeah, and Sharks doesn't care. He'd rather yell at people on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, he's, that's more important, just calling you names and saying he's going to kick your teeth down your throat. Yeah, and, and set me on fire. Yeah. Uh, he, you know, he, he just sits comfortably uh, while uh, Paris is burning all around him, just uh, to totally unaffected, you know. That's right. Well, well, Rome burns, Eve fiddles. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> we, family, the fuck? Uh, nothing's going to happen. Come on, man. Come back for me. I'm right here, bitch. Yeah. I'm right here. Uh -huh. Come and get me. Come back. Yeah. Come and get me. Wow. I'm right here. Nothing's going to happen. You fight me, bitch. You ain't going to do shit. No, you Yes, little only retards, okay, only retards getting physical you violence. Can't do shit, you don't cut. You <laughs> can't do shit. Why don't you go the fuck back to the UK and don't come back? I'm very happy. Right I don't know how it is where you're from, bitch. I don't know how it is where you're fucking from. Put it around here. We don't play that game. <laughs> Motherfuckers like you die around yeah. here. We um, I think I don't think that like Ed's like. Sally clearly he only makes this worse for himself and those around him. Um, what could she possibly say? Nothing. Yeah, just just clench onto those car keys, you know. <laughs> <laughs> what were you saying? That what could she say to to, to defend Cyrax? Is that what you meant? Y like, yeah, as, as far as. You know, see, Ed was like, can't you see he's only making this worse for, you know. Well, like I said, he should be put in a facility somewhere, whether it be um, like a sheltered housing type thing where he's, you know, where they look after, like where they're trying to help them with the money and the shopping so they don't have to totally live alone. He needs to be, he needs to get out of the house. But could he coexist in a place like that? Well, they'd have to have some sort of cattle prod system where if he started, there was. Bzz. Yeah, I mean, do you really want to put him around like uh, blind people or disabled people? No, 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 no. We can't trust him. But there are facilities, I'm sure, where people with this type of special need, where they get angry. They'll, you see, they'll, they'll have normal sized people who get this angry and they'll be able to cope with them. Mm hmm. So him, you know, it'll be like having a like a a special needs dog or something. Hmm. You know, a bit of a he's he's only little, isn't he? So it'll be easy to manage. Yeah. Uh, but so, what would you say? Like, hey, well, uh, I run my own businesses. Like, I'm a little guy. I, I can live with my grandmother. I'm not a threat to her. He would, he would say that he needed to protect the household. <laughs> yeah. And, and that's why that's in validate himself that way, that he's there to protect them. <laughs> Which is what she's told him, isn't it? You know. Yeah, they've definitely ingrained that in him so he doesn't go out and cause trouble. 
That's right. Not not to mention that he's the one who causes the trouble for him to have to protect the household. Oh, with, without a doubt. Um, I couldn't imagine living in that environment for numerous reasons. Um, but- oh, yeah. It's filthy. It's loud. <laughs> it'll smell. Yeah. Uh, the, the food is hot pockets. <laughs> Do <laughs> you think Ed is allowed to tell him that like none of this is real? No, no. Under no circumstances would he be. I mean, and he knows that it make things worse for himself. But um, maybe, maybe in the short term, but eventually maybe he would snap out of it. Well, this is why he shouts up the stairs. But Ed. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Fair. And he calls it Cyrax as he calls him that all the time. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, butthead. Come and get it. And then they throw his hot pocket on the floor with the dogs. Yeah, I can only... I mean, we have, like, a pretty good sense of what Sally thinks, but we have no idea, like, how Ed thinks or his attitudes beyond, like, his, his shouting and well, the only time Ed was mentioned was when he made a joke about me being his second girlfriend. Bearing in mind, uh, never spoken to me, uh, knows minimal, will know minimal about me, obviously, because I engineered it that way. <laughs> and, uh, he, he, he'll, you know, I don't, I don't feel like that's a joke. I think that's kind of a of feeling things out to see how I react. Do you think, uh, I don't know how we could arrange this or if Sally would authorize it, but maybe like a, a $5 a minute deal to speak with that. I, I don't know how I'd get that through to Sally because obviously Chance would never okay it. I don't think she's. I don't think she's blocked me. I bet on um, on Discord. I I don't think she'll have blocked me at all. So I, I bet I could get a message through to her. You really don't think she's blocked you? No, I don't think so. But nevertheless, I do have a. I do have the Discord tag, the new one. So. Uh-huh. Do you think she's still going to be on Discord, considering you were the only person that she talked to? Oh, fuck. You know what? I almost feel like inviting her to, like, the Cyrax Nation Discord. Um, uh, so everyone, so she could see, like, how fascinated everyone is with her grandson. Yeah, she's got limited... She says she's got limited understanding of it um, because at first she wouldn't take a call on it. Yeah. But when it suited her, all of a sudden she could do a call on it. Do, do you know what I mean? She, she, oh no, I don't know how to pick up a call on this girl, like when it's obvious. But as soon as she did want to physically speak to me real quick, she uh, managed to work it out. Right on. So, yeah, we're, we're interrupting the call here. Uh, you pull that kind of shit. I so don't fucking so. test you, dumbass bitch, because I will kill you along well, with I'm more. Glad that you I'm not playing. I'm glad. I'm well you done. And your bitch ass friends. Well enough done. Enough is enough. Enough is enough. <laughs> yeah. Just go leave my family alone, you dumb cunt. Of course. Leave my family alone. Ooh. You want me? You so angry. I'm right here, bitch. Rage. Come and get me, you coward. <laughs> Come and get me, bitch. Come and get me, coward. I'm right here. <laughs> Come on, you come after me. You leave my family alone. Come and get me, you faggot ass bitch. Fucking faggot ass bitch, don't woman. Yeah, you're not just like cloud nine here. I, oh, I was so happy. You know, when someone gives you a a gift like that, oh, do you not agree? Yeah, yeah. Uh, like I, I feel the same thing. Like whenever he just uh, pops up in the steam yard, you know, it's like, oh my god, you know, uh, very unexpected, and just really always puts puts a smile on my face. 
Yeah. Tell me I swear now. to God, if you don't back up, I what will find do? you and I will kill both no, you and Marty. You I'm not afraid no, to go to jail. You I will slit your damn no, throat you and cut your head off you and go are. after your family. Are you going to get to us? I will kill Marty and go after his family too. On a greyhound. I'm not afraid. How are you going to get? So bring it, bitch. <laughs> bring it. Just leave your hard ass. <laughs> Why? Why would you make a move? This is perfect. Like th this high of Cyrax just losing it is better than anything. Oh yeah. No, not really. No. Normal people don't act like they should be rage. Too far gone. Too far gone. Ed's just in the background packing his shit. Yeah, he is, yeah, just stuffing it into a, any old bag you can find, just balling it up and putting it Garbage bag, yeah. <laughs> old garbage bag. Yeah. Aww. <laughs> Probably dumps the garbage out on the floor and just starts <laughs> into the, uh, the garbage bag. <laughs> To like just an angry three year old, yeah, <laughs> yeah, it's a little tantrum. You're a bitch. Well, you're a no, you wasn't. No, you wasn't. No, you wasn't. What you're doing right now, I thought I hate you. If you're, no, I guarantee you, if your dad is here, he'd bitch slap your fucking ass. <laughs> Pop him in the mouth, you know, he doesn't want to have to do it again. Yeah, because he knows that if the police get called, he'll be he'll be taken away because he's abused a goblin. Yeah, yeah. Now, Some really care a lot about the goblin, but go on. I was just he knows he's when he's saying, Come down here, come down here. Well, you can't drive, can you? So why would I come to you? And he's like, Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and he thinks that he thinks that he's being smart by it, trying to get us to do something first, and so that he'd have in our world they 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 started it, and then he'd call the police. Yeah, yeah. Huh. and he, I tell you what, it was so tempting to drop a bomb on him if he if he could have heard me, and I know he couldn't. I'd have really got to him. It w it was the time. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Little bitch. Yeah. 
<laughs> you son, you big ass bitch. Hey, you like your car, right? I love my car. Put the fuck up, wouldn't it? Or maybe, hey, maybe I'll set your goddamn house on fire and burn you in it, bitch. Like you know. Connie died in a fire. Connie. Well, hang on a second. Um. Uh, I guess when they call the Morris Auto Retail and uh, Rupal Wingus, <laughs> Rupal Wingus wasn't working, uh, but didn't say he no longer works there. Yeah, I, I I thought about that the other day. Somebody should just ring and ask about whether he's um, whether he's uh, there. But I think he did say, oh. Uh, well, they might get, they were going to give me some time off, but uh, instead they fired me. So I think that they've just said, "Well, take some leave, and it'll die down." Wait for this to like blow over. Yeah, I don't know what employment laws like there. Whether it's you know just a, a casual employee or whatever, but you know if someone just if someone was fired because of bad reviews when he. He had an employment contract. I don't um, think that, like, uh, I think a lot, if they don't do background checks, that it's not very formal. Yeah, that's what I mean. I don't know whether, you know, there'd be any recourse for him to, to sue him. But um, I don't believe that he's, I don't believe that he's fired. I think he'd be much angrier. Uh, well, so you're saying that he could potentially sue his employer? I mean, I'm sure a lot of lawyers are going to want to get behind a guy who clearly has a fetish for 10-year-old curtsy boys. True, true. Yeah, there's, uh, there'll be, there'd be some, uh, yeah, you're right, yeah. I, I, uh, you, you know, not even, not even to, like, protect the reputation, but to protect customers who bring their kids there. Yeah, you know, Fresh off of a soccer game, you know, like one maybe is in the bathroom or something, you know. Ugh. Oh, no, no. Yeah, it's something you got to consider. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So just as far as, like, a, 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 I, don't, I don't know that anyone's really going to want to get behind that case. It's not a hill anyone's really going to want to die on, except no. for Courtney. Yeah. Courtney, Cor 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 the sole defender. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I do think, though, um, Austin is, he thought in his mind this Austin is made up. Is a mm. guy who wants to be a girl. He didn't think it through that actually be calling a girl will turn into a guy. Austin, it's a it's a man in a dress in his mind. Hmm. One that <laughs> one that's like still not one that's got a beard and is still not like shaved his legs and walks like a bloke and everything. <laughs> Wait, so you're saying because I've heard you say before that you felt it was an actual person who was a man as a woman. How he was talking about this trans person, Yeah, he seemed to talk about them like it was a male to female trans person. Correct. Rather than a, a, a female to male. And you'd never ever call a trans person who was male to female by their male name. It'd be the most offensive. It's it's dead offensive to them. Like the, the N word, almost worse. Yeah, exactly. They'll say, they'll say it's worse. Yeah. Yeah. So it's called the dead. They call it their dead name. Uh, so and obviously, like Rupal. Rupal's his dead name. That's right. right. And right. he got so offended. So <laughs> I think he's when he's concocting this story because he's obviously not that bright. Mm -hmm. Right enough to concoct the story, but I, I think he's forgotten. He doesn't really know anything about trans, so he's not thought this out. You know, people say that it was a terrible story, but I think it was a pretty good defense, uh, considering the Pinterest. Yeah, it, look, it was the best he could do. Because yeah. there are any other ways he going to explain that away. He's um he's just got the the details in he's not, he's not done it as good as <laughs> I would have done it are you yeah oh, well I mean honestly I can't think of a much because you know 
Austin just disappeared, so there's no trace of it on the internet. Um, you know, he's got a, a, a Pinterest that's loaded with like the most depraved shit that would give people nightmares. You know, he, he's somehow able to turn that into uh, advocacy on behalf of his fellow car wash employee. Yeah. You know, as opposed to just monstrous and abominable nightmare fuel. But it's um, the only, I think you're giving him too much credit because it's the only thing that would be, it's the only thing I could think of he could um, say about it. It was, but he couldn't, it, I mean, you can pull it apart easily because you can say, well, why are they all curtsying? Why are they all a certain a certain way why like you said why are they all young boys and not girls and right. i can see to a point that he's more of a thing for boys because it's harder for them to transition than it is girls uh, yeah, you, you know and i actually think i have a better defense uh just well i guess it would be one word and two letters tyler and why you know <laughs> just no, no, no more questions asked okay i got it <laughs> Tyler and Y is just the, the solution to, to any quandary I want to know what Cyrax is going to decide because I, I did ask him to make a decision whether Tyler was a hacker or wasn't but he had to stick to one he can't, he can't use him as a defence if I can't use him as a defence do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. as far as his cheating and Exactly. So I do want him to let me know which it is either he is a you know top notch hacker who you know is potentially going to be working for the FBI or whoever, or well, he's not. Yeah. Well, I can actually answer that. Uh, he is a top notch hacker, and Cyrax was cheating. Like it doesn't have to be one or the other. Well, no, we know that. Yeah. But for his defence, if he Correct. wants to argue with me. Which is, it's never going to win anyway. That's, it's like arguing with a three-year-old. It's, it's easy. Mm, I'm trying to think if he ever got you at all. Say that again, sorry. I'm trying to think if he, if he ever was able to, like, corner you in any way. <laughs> well, was he ever able to corner you? Mm, not really, no. Well, he's not going to be able to corner me either then. When would he ever corner me? I don't know. I'm just trying to think of um, the only real problem we had was when Lava Girl uh, kind of snatched him away for a little bit. Yeah, and we go. That's it. So he had an out outside influence. Yeah, that's true. Okay, yeah. We're. I guess we're interrupting the call again. Fire! Fire! Still thinks Tiny Tim is real. Oh yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Absolutely. I guess it would probably be a lot to unpack to realize that everything that you like pinned your hopes on and, and confided in the person was all just a lie. 
Oh, I, the, the, you know, you know what I want to drop on it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so go ahead and try me, take this. Go ahead and try me. Tiny T will kick your ass. Tiny T will. Try me. Yo, go on then. You ain't nothing but a bitch ass coward. Correct. You're a big ass bitch yep. that deserves to die. Yep. I'm done being bullied by you. Well, not really. Listen to yourself. <laughs> Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You leave my family alone. Of course. I'm coming after you. This is making me like to come after you, Ma. <laughs> you yeah, he 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 never realized that. You have given him pretty sound advice from time to time. Yeah. Um, I mean, he'd, he'd never take it. So it was kind of a just a filler. You sometimes, you know, just to just to talk to him, but. I, I, if I thought he would ever take it, I don't. I'm not sure I would have. Because I, I came to dislike him even more as the time went <laughs> on. Yeah, uh, it seems people are remarking it like your guttural laugh. Uh, <laughs> yeah, just just pure delight. And oh, he was. It was absolutely beautiful. Yeah, it's the best. There's nothing better than it. Uh, I'm gonna play the the call again, just one more time of. Uh, I'm leaving, and then we're going to get into call six, right? If that's right, and this yeah, is a right. dead good call as well. All right. All I got to say to you is this, bitch. I hope you and Marty are happy because of you guys fucking bullying me like you do and me yelling at you. It just fucking took off and my nothing back. <laughs> so I hope you're fucking happy with bullying me. Hang on a minute. I hope you're happy. Why why is it our fault if I'd like it's just a yell? Oh make me yell at you. We made you yell. Shut Are you that tired of us? You can't blame me. us for a shout. Uh, it's just pathetic of you and Marty fucking Bullying me. Yeah. Against you. He left. <laughs> so I hope you're happy, bitch. I hope you. Chance. I was so annoyed that she interrupted. Yeah. I mean, old bitch. She's she can be a real wet blanket. Um. All right, should I, is it good from the start or? Uh... Yeah, just okay. play it all. Um, all right. And we'll keep talking to a minute. Yeah. Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello? Hello? Hi, I can only just hear you. What's up? Ah, there you are. Can you hear me? I can hear you just fine. Can you hear me? Yep. Loud and clear. Good. <laughs> now, how are you feeling now? Well, now that I went off on, like, literally since I went off on Marty, well, not, like, since we last spoke, but, like, I think, like, now that people know, like, what's actually going on, like, I do feel a bit better and, you know, maybe something can actually finally be done. Well, uh, Cause like, this, cause like, this shit is getting so freaking old that it's like, uh Can I give some context here, sorry? Well, I'll tell you what. Oh, sure. I'm going to be... This is when... This is when after he did a, a live stream saying that that was it, you were done. Uh, there was a plan afoot and it was to get a, um, Lava had told him that she'd found a, a lawyer that might take his case. Uh, Mr. Souter. That's right. Yes. She's found an article about him having an interest in cyberbullying <laughs> and gave Chance the information, but he took that as, oh, well, she's getting me the lawyer she's gonna you know he said he'd take the case it you know it's it may it'll be built it up from just oh here's a link to the internet 
um to the article so this guy is going to take your case and he's not going to charge okay do you think that he's ever actually contacted any attorneys or do you think he's just sat there and looked at numbers i think he told me that he'd been ringing this guy but he was expecting Lara to do it and i think they've gone to i think the other day they might have tried to get legal aid even though i told them that legal aid wouldn't cover something like this hmm. i don't think there would anyway when i've had to look into it no no i wouldn't think so um if Nobody wants to mediate a silly internet dispute. No, no, no. There's no public interest. There's no, um, you know, there's no money in it for anyone. So, no. I mean, if Cyrax blew his brains out, you know, then there, there could be something. And, you know, we, we wouldn't want that beyond for selfish, self-preservation interests. You know, I wouldn't want to see, like, when he got socked in the mouth, you know, we were pretty panicked. We were worried for him. Yeah, we didn't, I, I didn't like that at all. No, no. I've just had a phone call from work. It was just um, a query on an investment, so I've had to sort that out. But I'm going to be, let's be frank for a second. You know that I'll never steer you wrong, don't you? I've said that from the start. Now, oh, let's... I know, I know you know. You know like you've never, like you've been one of the very few that has actually been... 100% honest the whole freaking time. It's like, you know. Well, yeah, I mean, sometimes I know I tell you things that you don't like. I know I do. I know that it pisses you yeah, off. Yeah, and, like, you know, and I know that, you know, just the way I am, thanks to my dad, like, you know, sometimes, you know, it's one of those things where it's like, you know, I'm, I'm hard-headed, thanks to him, and like, I know that those aren't things that I might not always want to hear, but it's definitely things that, you know, I need to hear. And it's like, I don't know why, like, in my head, I'm just like, you know, these certain assholes, these certain assholes, like, uh, no, I kind of need to hear this. Yeah. I know it's hard to hear. You know, when, oh, yeah, you, you, know, when you say your dad, do you mean the one who lives in Florida? Yeah, yeah. One of your race car driver as well. No, um, he actually works at a um, he actually works at a golf course. Like he's ex military, but he works at a um, as far as I know, he still works at a golf course. Last well, time I checked, anyway. I thought I don't know why I thought I remember you telling me that when he. I think Cyrus would be a great miniature golf caddy. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> you know, like, well, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe he could like wash your ball. I think he used to hold on to your own putter the whole time. But uh, you know, if you do the course really well, he could give you an advantage potentially. Yeah, I, <laughs> I well, we were on about miniature golf the other day, weren't we? So maybe that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would yeah. be a perfect occasion for him to be there. Uh, I could see him just like in the little outfit too. You know, like the the. What do they call those hats? Oh, those visors, those little, like, you mean like the little visors that they put on? Uh, no, I was saying like there's like the old, like there's this uh, old Irish guy. He uh, uh, he had like this hat, this baggy hat. Oh, uh, yeah, with the... Um... Dane Stewart. Plane crash. Uh. I don't know what you're on about. Oh, fair enough. Um, yeah, just a little outfit for Cyrax. I don't know. Yeah. It'll never work. When you younger, you used to um, drive, like, fast cars and do races. Oh, no, no, no. What it was, what it was is my brother introduced me into the Fast and Furious movies and whatnot. Because, like, I was raised around, like, cars my whole life, you know, due to my dad being in the military and being raised around, like, all these different cars and stuff. Like, my older brother kind of, you know, got me into the car scene through the Fast and Furious movies. And once I got hooked on those, it was like, okay, this is really interesting. Like, I didn't know this existed. Like, you know, like, I had no idea. I was like, 
dude, this is really cool. Like, how did I not know about this? Yeah. Like, what the heck? And then, like, I had um, first gotten my first actual racing game was a Need for Speed Underground 2. And then from there, it just kind of snowballed. I started to really get into it. And I was like, yo, like, this is cool. Like, I wonder if there's anybody else out there that's, like, into this stuff. And later on down the line, whenever, you know, uh, freaking um, Facebook came about, like, I started finding, like, all these different groups on Facebook. And from there, just... It just kind of snowballed. Like I started to get more and more in depth with stuff. I started to, you know, like just really be like, yo, like there's actually stuff out here. Like I didn't know about. Like that's cool. Like how did I not know about this? Like what was I missing out on this whole time? Like what the freak? So like I really started to, you know look out and, you know, see if there's, like, anybody, you know, that had the same interests that I did, and then that's when I ran into two of my best friends, um, Ethan and Ricardo, who were forming this, um, this ring, this, uh, drift team and whatnot, and I showed them what I could do, and they were like, dude, like, you definitely got a lot of potential, like, you could definitely get better, so they ultimately you know, started to really lay in and teach me, like, and they weren't easy on me either, like, when I fucked up on something, they're like, dude, you fucked up, go back and do that whole run again until you freaking get it, like, we're getting harder on your ass until you get it, and it was ultimately through them that, you know, I started to get better, I started to, you know, learn how to use the handbrake more whenever I'm doing it, and, you know, and just stuff like that. And after that, once I met Devin, because it was through them that I met Devin on camp time. Yeah. Um, it was through them that I met him. And, you know, from there, he was like, yo, like, I know you've been doing drifting this whole time and whatnot, but there's a whole other side to racing that I don't think you know about. Like, let me show you what it is. I was like, what are you talking about, dude? Like, you, you got my in. Like, what is it? And, like, he started. Kendra, I have a surprise for you. Oh, yeah. Marty, I'm not going to be on here very long at all, but I am going to state this fact right now, Marty. Yeah, and this is for both you and for everyone involved. You guys seriously need to leave me and my family the hell alone. You're involving people that know that don't need to be involved in what, you know you're, dead not, dead. No, what, what you're doing is not right. You're involving people in your it crap that don't need to be involved. You've involved my brother. We you've involved it. my mom. You've involved her boyfriend, Ed. You guys need no, to quit. If you want to come, involved Ed. Dude, if you want to come after me, come after me personally on my own. Stop dragging Ed. my family into it, all right? If you, want to after, if, you, if, you, if you want to come after me, Marty, as a How person. How you involved Ed? Because of the fact of what you do, man. You sit there and you oh, cause you me to listen. That. Hold on. You, know you sit there and you cause me to fucking yell at you because of what you do to me. And that gets him upset. And that you causes me to fight for man? Marty. I'm so telling you this right now. You need to quit pump. involving my family. I don't, you, care, I, don't, I don't care if you come after me. I don't are care you, are you not come after are me. You. If you want to come after me, you come after me by myself. Are you, you or are you not our puppet? I am not your puppet, you stupid so ass. So how can you make you do anything you don't want to do? By what you're doing, Marty. You sit there and you bully me and attack me like it's some sort of game. This so isn't a game, Marty. Game. This is not a game, Tange. This is real fucking life. Because yeah. of you guys, my brother lost his fucking Have you dog. seen his interest? It doesn't fucking matter. It doesn't matter. No, it does not, Marty. That is not your place to involve people. He is is just not, no, it is not. That is not your place to involve people that, so, don't, that don't need to be brought you into think it. He is, you think you he poses a risk? You think he poses a You think he poses a risk? You are a sick fucking freak. Do you think he poses a risk? You are a sick old bastard Do you that think, needs fucking help. Do you think you he poses a risk? You need help, Marty. 
You Marty, why don't you go seek a fucking mental health institute? Because obviously you fucking need one. You <laughs> seriously do. You sit there and you, you even claimed. You literally admitted in front of hundreds of people that you're fucking gay for me. Dude, I'm not fucking gay. Oh. Okay, you need to back the fuck so off. Really that, that Shut up, Tan. This don't involve you. Shut the oh, fuck up, you don't ask. Come back. This don't involve you. Marty, you need to fucking back off, dude. If you want to you you come after me alone, that's fine. Come after me by myself. Stuff. Come after me by myself. Okay, well, okay then Stop I am involving my I fucking am family. Now. I am right now, sir. Stop I'm involving sorry. my family, you yeah, fucking ask you power. Involving you Stop right involving now. my family, you fucking I'll fucking involve your family. family. What you're doing I'll is a bitch move. As what you're as doing as is a bitch made move, Marty. You're a pussy ass coward. You're a fucking bitch ass coward, just like Tan. You're both fucking cowards. You involve people's family that don't need to be involved in shit, and you need to quit. Dad is a predator. It doesn't matter. What he did was 30 fucking years ago. It doesn't matter. What he did, shut the fuck up. What he did was, no, shut up. What he did, shut the fuck up, you fucking morons. Okay, I'll post Most it. of you are stupid as fuck. What you don't realize is what he did was 30 fucking no. years ago. No. He's not like that anymore, dude. No. He's not like that anymore, you fucking reject. You're a fucking retard have you seen, and a fucking moron. Have you seen your dad's you need podcast? to grow up, Marty. You're not have shit you compared to me. No one likes you, Marty, because of what you fucking do. You need I to like realize you. the fact that you need to get your fucking thank ass the fuck off of YouTube and maybe actually do something with your fucking life like you, I'm doing, all right? What so you get your fat fucking lazy ass the fuck you off of YouTube. Oh, get a real fucking job, you bitch ass loser. Like, yeah. All, all you dad's do is sit up on the fucking internet. Cyrex, have you seen your dad's Pinterest? He beats off to 10-year-old boys in dresses. Yeah. Is it pedophile? Right? There's no idea he's muted right now. Hearted human being. So, Marty, you can take your bullshit the fuck somewhere else because nobody likes what you're fucking doing. How would you notice how all your views are fucking dropping because of what you fucking did? You're an evil little bitch who needs to have his fucking face talking, bro. You wonder, you you said, you both sit there and wonder why I make these death threats to you. Let me tell you, it's it's because of the fucking shit that you do to me. I sit there and I try to mind my own fucking business, okay? I try to mind my own goddamn business, do my own thing. But then when you guys come up and you fucking bully me for no fucking reason at all whatsoever, oh, yeah, what do you expect? I you don't deserve try, that. No, you shut up. Shut you up. Just up. Just family, no, shut the fuck up. My just, family doesn't deserve it, and neither do I. You both need to fucking quit, because if you don't, law enforcement, just, law, just, law enforcement just, will be involved. Law enforcement will be involved if yeah, you do yeah, not yeah. fucking stop. Yeah, so sure. don't even fucking push it, dude. We're already trying to find a way to get you shut the fuck down because of what you're doing. Well, what you you're doing? No, shut up. What you're doing is not right. It's inhumane. It's immoral. And you need to fucking quit it. When I say leave me alone, I mean leave me the fuck alone. And when I say leave my family out of it, if you want to come after me, fine. But leave my family the fuck out of it. If you want to come after me, come after me alone. Come after me alone and stop being a pussy ass coward, making bitch ass moves, getting people's family. Have you seen your dad's Pinterest? One question. It doesn't fucking matter. That's none of your goddamn business. That's so not your. Shut up, Marty. What goes on in my family is not your fucking business. But, but he's, he's shut the fuck course. up, you bitch ass coward. Shut the fuck up, you fucking loser ass bitch. <laughs> you ain't shit compared to me, Marty, and you know it. You're oh, a yeah. fat ass fucking overweight piece of shit loser that needs to hit the fucking treadmill. Because oh, yeah. obviously, you can't you even take the the fuck up, you fucking piece of yeah. shit loser. You're Sorry. a piece of shit loser, Marty. You're a piece of shit loser who's pissed off at the fact that I turned him down. Sorry, boy. I'm not <laughs> fun. Shut the fuck up, you bitch ass loser.
Well, that's hey, true. Very, very at tans. Very at tans. Why don't you go back to sucking <laughs> Marty's invisible fucking dick? Oh, wait, I forgot. He ain't got a fucking dick because everybody knows he's a dickless wonder oh, yeah. ass coward. Mm-hmm. He's a fucking dickless wonder just like you. No, You're a fucking dyke. Along, hey, Tange. Hey, Tange. That's why. That's why you look like a fucking dyke, you dumb bitch. Maybe better yet, why don't you shave your fucking hair and bald? Maybe then you'll look like a real fucking dyke. Better yet, Marty might Marty might take interest in your ass then, because you'll actually look like a fucking dude. So Marty, why don't you quit your fucking bullshit? Take that fucking dick, shove it up your own fucking ass, and go fuck yourself. Cause I'm tired of your bullshit. You got, you shut right? the fuck up, dude. You're a fucking you loser and you know it. Why you can do Marty, it? it would be a shame if I had to get a hold of your dad who happens to be an orthopedic doctor. Go for it. Do it. Yeah, and guess what? What you're doing doesn't look good on him. It has nothing and trust to do. me, I have his info, and you can bet on the fact that I will be contacting him and showing him everything that you do. Go for so it. I suggest, I suggest, if you don't <laughs> want to get your fucking ass handed to you by your own fucking old man, you better shut the fuck up. Well, and you better not like, you what, you do, Marty, what you don't realize, Marty, is what you're doing to me. That doesn't just reflect on you. That does just doesn't reflect on people around you. That reflects on your own family, on your huh. dad, and what he fucking does. Do that figure? reflects on him because people are gonna see what you're fucking doing, and they're not gonna like it. There is zero so Marty, do yourself a fucking favor. Shut the fuck up. Shut down your so bullshit you ass fucking crap. Be no, be shut down your bullshit fucking crap ass channel and actually make content be that's bad. worth fucking watching because nobody likes your fucking bitch ass so you you and Tange can go fuck yourselves and die in a ditch for all I fucking care I'm tired of being bullied by you guys my family's tired of you pushing me the fuck around we're tired of you getting my family involved you need to shut the fuck up I'm gonna campaign against your family shut the fuck up you pussy ass you got nothing to say Let's do Everything it. that Let's comes out of your mouth, Let's Marty, is a fucking lie, you Let's stupid ass bitch. Let's go Everything that. that comes out of your mouth is a fucking no, lie. Sorry, and you it. know it. You know it, Marty. You know everything that comes out of your mouth is a fucking bald faced fucking lie because you want to make me out to be the bad guy when I'm not. Shut the fuck up, you stupid ass faggot. You right. need to realize something here, Marty. The reason why I do what I do is because of you and the <laughs> fucking hell that you put me through. I don't deserve this shit. So My family doesn't deserve it. I don't deserve to be bullied by a bunch of pinheaded, stupid ass fucking I'm bitches. That think they're they're hard right. shit. You're not shit, Marty, and you I'm know it. So Marty, 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 you can kiss your little bitch ass channel and your whole life. Good fucking bye. It's going down the drain. The minute we get away your dad, you're fucked. You're fucked, Marty. Just know that. Karma's a bitch. Just know that. Karma's a bitch, and karma will come after your fucking ass. You might not think it will, but trust me, it will. And guess what? I'm delivering, bitch. So go ahead and keep doing what you're doing. What do you mean? All I'm saying is this. All I'm saying is this. You leave my family the fuck out of it. If you want to come come after me alone. No, if if you want to come after me alone. If you want to come after me alone, that's fine. I don't give a fuck. Because you and I both know I can take your ass on super easy. I've done it before and I can do it again. No fucking problem. Marty, Marty. You need to leave my family the fuck out of it. They don't need to be involved in this. But all right? Pedophile? No, shut up, Tange. This he's don't fucking involve though. you. So shut the fuck up, you dumb bitch. This no, don't involve you. Hey, Marty, oh, listen, involve. bro. Listen, he Marty. If you shut the fuck up, you dumbass cunt bag. <laughs> Shut the fuck up before I come through this goddamn screen and I fucking bitch slap your fucking ass in the next week. I'm not he fucking can't, friends. He Shut can't the, can't the, can't the fuck out of it, you dumb cunt. Aww. Marty, listen, bro. You need to back the fuck up and leave my family the fuck out of it. Like I said, you, you want to come after me? You want to come after me alone on my own? 
I don't give a fuck. Go right and fuck with it. But I'm telling you, Marty, you are going to leave my family out of it. You're going to stop attacking my family. And guess what? You are going to delete your channel. Otherwise, your ass will end up in court. You will what? end up in court. Marty, you're incriminating yourself by everything you fucking do. I don't, don't think you're right me, right motherfucker. Right. You're I pissed know. off. Shut the fuck up, Tan. Just don't involve you, all right? He so shut does. the fuck you up. Stay the fuck out of it. I and let the big boy this. talk, all right? You little bitch ass cunt. Marty, He's listen. Awesome. You shut the He's fuck awesome. up, you little girl. You ain't He's shit. Awesome. So shut the fuck up and sit the fuck That's down. So, so, let me know when you're Shut saying. the fuck up and shut your fucking fake ass up, Tan. <laughs> you ain't shit compared to me and you fucking know it. Yeah. Should I, should I mute him? Uh, he's just a few. <laughs> look at him go. Yeah. Yeah, until he's able to listen, I think I'm going to have to mute him. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. He's, um, I th this, this is Jonathan Putnam's doing. Yeah, without a doubt. Um, yeah, as far as involving the courts, uh, I don't really think it's their place. Look at him go. I know. He has no idea. No. <laughs> this is incredible. Uh -huh. Sorry, I didn't hear you. That's all you do, man. You sit on the internet and wait for me to go live just so you can attack me because you got nothing better to do. Because you're a bitch ass. Oh, Matisse. Oh, shit. I was rocking the boat there a little bit. He's gone. Ah. No. He wasn't going to listen to anything anyways. No, he wasn't. No. Uh, but it's Rich him saying that anything would reflect, you know, your family. You're reflecting on your family when he's he's got a pedophile father. Yeah, I, I can't imagine that people are going to alter their surgeries based off of a, uh eraser in Akron, Ohio's plight, you know. But uh, then again, I guess what difference will it make? Uh, I'll, I'll be in behind bars for the next 40 years anyways. Oh um, yeah. Uh, you know, so I guess there's a lot on my plate here. Um, but what will I do? Bring you a cake with a file in it? Or... <laughs> uh, maybe, maybe. Um, of course, then again, though, uh, I would imagine that if what I'm doing is illegal and actionable, that what Cyrax is doing is even worse. So maybe we'd be prison buddies. Oh, yeah. I don't know. If, um, yeah, you would. Yeah. But he's um, he's certainly uh, upset about all this. I mean, the fact that we've got another hundred calls to go through, Jesus. Uh, yeah. Here, sorry, I'm just uh, responding to a, a, a Discord thing. Um. Yeah, uh, I like his uh, his law of proximity, I guess, due to the family tree. Uh, it's funny because Rupal the rapist looks down upon Cyrax. Like, even he laughs at him and thinks he's, like, a terrible person. Uh, it's fascinating. Yeah, a pedophile rapist thinks that he's uh, a loser. That's <laughs> – I like it when he says – you ain't shit. Correct, we ain't shit. No, no, we never proclaim to be. Uh, yeah, my numbers are going down because nobody likes this. Yeah, and... <laughs> you just can't. No, I mean, I, I don't know where you got that from. Um, I'm not, like, a real number-centric guy, but, you know, like, he's just saying things that are, like, objectively false. Um... You know, everything is pretty much subjective, I guess, except uh, for for data. Um, uh, but, but obviously, like, that doesn't really – but it's just, you know, I, I don't know. He's defending a guy who jerks off to 10-year-old boys in dresses. He says it doesn't matter. He, obviously, he's been um, – you know, Sally has told him, this is all your fault. You've brought this and our family, and this is why he's, you know, because he doesn't really care about anyone but himself. So he, him saying, oh, don't come after him, don't go after anybody else. I mean, the fact that we've not gone after anyone else, no. it's just happened. 
No. Um, yeah, as far as like, listen, uh, if I see like a guy who's preying on 10 year old boys, uh, who's brutally raped him along a bike path, I feel obligated to say something about it. Absolutely. And I'm not easily moved, people. Not when it comes to animals. Yeah, I am, but not humans. And I, I cried my eyes out over that. Yeah. Um, if anyone hasn't seen it, you know, you probably don't even want to. It's pretty bad. Yeah, don't look at it. It's terrible. Yeah. Showing me like road racing and stuff like that, and like rally cross racing. I was like, this is essentially really cool. And he's like, dude, like with the way you drive, you could, you know, do this. And like it was through him that I started to practice. Like I started to utilize like the drifting more for like rally cross racing. Then he started teaching me how to do, you know, road racing and you know, really ran me through the steps of what to do. With what come time, guys? You know, doing what I'm doing now through I'm surprised you know, one and all these different games and stuff. So I'm surprised that Cam Time history. So yeah. Well, I thought you are a lot better than Cam Time. So I'm surprised that he taught you anything. To be honest. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. Wasn't this after he just gotten smoked too, or was this before? Um, I think. This was before. Oh no, no, it was after they they become buddies. Hmm. Fair. What do you think their current relationship relationship status is? I think it's just, you know, it's a way of um, whatever thing yeah. is a job car, yeah. and I think he just contacts him every now and again. I don't think you know, Cam Time really won't give a shit about him. No. Like last, I've heard they had a falling out where because he was trying to tell Chance not to be so delusional. Yeah, no, I think the dad, I think they've um, spoken since, so they're probably just on a level, and he's it's he's a way of learning how to make change, do his washing, blah blah blah. Yeah, so he's not got time for Cyrax. No, good, good for him. Yeah. Bad for us, I guess. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. It's the way, like, don't get me wrong, like, the way he races, like, when he's not being a total dick, like, when he's not being a complete asshole and being a freaking douchebag like he's being right now. Yeah. He's honestly one of the fastest dudes I know. Like, he is actually, you know, really solid with what he does. He's actually very quick, honestly. Like, He's one of the quickest drivers I've actually ever Chance, across. do you know why he's so quick? And I'll tell you, because he's autistic, he's, fo he's super focuses on things. He can't deviate. From, like, he's got it in his head. He's going to be a professional racing driver for real, like in real life. And it's right, never going exactly. to happen. Like, and what he doesn't realize, I even looked into this, because at one point I wanted to do the same thing. I actually wanted to go to racing school and actually do that myself. But the costs for that at the time were like far beyond what I could afford. And I told him, like, dude, I hope you know you're going to probably be spending about 10 to 20 grand. Oh, even more than that. Classes to, you know, for, you know, all the pro classes, the yeah. regular driving classes for that. Uh, the racing license, not to mention your team, to get that started, like, dude, like, you're really gonna. Have to uh, yeah. Shout out to J. Alexander. It's a very uh, thoughtful PayPal. I, I can't thank you enough. I'm gonna uh, put that stuff on there. Uh, thank you. I have to put in some fucking money for that. And he's all like, "Well, you know, I've done go kart racing." And I was like, oh, "Yeah, I can, I can see where you know you would come up in that because you know there's a lot of." You know, pro race car drivers that have come up through go car racing and have gone pro from that. It's like, dude, they had the money and the funding to be able to make that leap after classes. They had the funding built up. You don't have that. I'm to do it. When I don't have that. I'm to do it when they're young. They don't do it at 21. They're there, very, oh, very yeah, young. Oh, yeah. 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 And what he doesn't realize. A lot of these pro drivers that actually do race in real life, they are now doing this whole, you know, esports thing where they're competing online, 
you know, in game against other real drivers due to the pandemic and what's going on. So like even they're gravitating towards that. And what he doesn't realize is, dude, esports is now becoming a part of the Olympics, bro. Like if you get good enough at doing that, the Olympics. Yeah, it's the Olympics. Being the Olympics. <laughs> uh, the Special Olympics also. I don't even it, think he could do okay. that. Honestly, he's just so terrible at that game. They'd be able to find somebody who could beat him with ease. Oh, absolutely. You know, like I said, artistics, they'd be able to get, you know, really into it. And I'm sure some Down syndromes would as well. It sucks you can't plant it into his mind that he, by becoming a... a Olympian and e racing that he's fighting for his country. <laughs> Why would it suck? What was that? What did you say then? Oh no, I, I, I wish you could like maybe just uh, throw the idea out to him, like the old days. Oh, like, oh yeah, yeah, that he'd be fighting for his country. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Those days have gone, my friend. Yeah, They're totally gone. Yeah. I'm sure, I'm sure, well, yeah. Yeah, well, bite the lip there, I'd say. Like, I'm practicing, like, I'm practicing at, and then what I'm doing every other week, like, you could go pro, like, you could actually do this, but you need to stay away from Marty and his bullshit. Well, listen, let's just, let's just go on to something else, because I don't want to waste his time on bloody cam time. Um... Yeah, uh, I guess people are, are complaining about the, the chat. You can, you can get rid of these guys. I mean, it's just low-tier trolling. Uh, you know, pretty... Well, whatever. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's, so, and that's yeah, you can... Mods, take care of my light work. <laughs> be nice about it. <laughs> Over the last few days, even though I've seen it in the chat, I've just kind of been like, eh, whatever, you know, like, you know... What are you even doing here, dude? Like, are you supposed to be working for Jackass or whatever? Like, fuck out. Like, I got stuff I'm trying to do. Well, he's going to job car on 9th, isn't he? So he's out of the way. Right, next thing is, what are you going to... Have, have you told your mum that I'd like to speak to her tomorrow? Or is it inconvenient? Or... Um, I've forgotten. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely talk to her tonight and see what she can do, like, for sure. Because I'm pretty sure she be up for that. Like, well, I'll I tell you what, then. If you're going to talk to her tonight, make it Thursday. Give her a bit of time. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Because I'd like to speak to her, introduce myself. You don't have to be there if you don't want. You know, let the women talk. Um, yeah, and exactly. I think it's quite, I think it's a respectful thing for me to do. Um, yeah, because yeah, absolutely. And honestly, I think that'd be, honestly, I can already tell you, that'd be a I can already tell you, that'd be a really good impression on him because, like, he ever really has done that. So. A theory just dawned on me as far as why he wanted to get you talking with Sally a lot. Go on. I think that he was trying to accelerate the marriage process because I know that he told you that he was planning on proposing to you in the, at the Roachbag Motel where Ed's at right now. Yes. Do you think when you say when you say accelerate the um, the process though, do you not think that you would have expected me to pay for it anyway? Um. Well, I mean, I, I would imagine that with Cyrax, you know, their finances depend on like the first of the month rolling around. Um. So I don't know what time of the month it was, but if it was early, I would bet that he would just expect Sally to pay for it. I know, no, I I think. Do you know what Sally would say? No, well, the bride's family pays for it. Mm. Don't they? The bride family? Yeah, the bride's family traditionally pays for the wedding. Oh, the bride's bride. Yes. Huh. So she would automatically just it'd be like a hot potato, be just thrown back and forth. <laughs> I mean, the engagement ring was going to be one of his shitty. I mean, can you remember? Does he really think someone like me wouldn't want a proper engagement ring? 
Mm. Well, I don't know. I think if he presented some piece of shit that Sally was given, that was stolen from somewhere 50 years ago, that he would think it would have more sentimental value than... You know, I would, if it was the right person, it, it wouldn't matter to me. I'm not, I'm not that, you know, if I want a diamond, I can buy my own, but so it's, it would, you're right. I mean, if it was the right person, I'd accept a wooden ring, for instance. Yeah. But because it's him, I would demand at least, at least a carrot, but it'd have to be a very nice, clear, nice, well-cut diamond in a platinum setting. Right. So you're looking at least fifteen thousand dollars, probably more, a lot well, more, like twenty. He he was due to take in about eighty five hundred uh, from his CDs and original artwork. There you go. So nearly halfway, halfway there. Yeah. But instead, no, I've got um, one of his like his one of his rings that he's got on. I'm, I, what what's the Harley Davidson one? Is it always it was a Celtic ring or something? Yeah. I mean, he's got tiny little. I know they're like claw hands, but I reckon he's, he's got right scrawny long fingers, so it probably wouldn't have fit me anywhere. Oh. Mm. With his little claw. Um, yeah, yeah, I would imagine he's got tiny little hands. Perfect for an island wife. Yeah. <laughs> you go out of your way and do that. I can already tell you that you'd be on the right track right there already. Well, that's good to know because I really appreciate that, you know, family's important and I'd like to get on with oh, them. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know, like, um, and I like you know, like everybody else knows, you know, like, family has always been important, like, you know, like, you know, obviously, you know, and, you know, my close friends, like, Sean and I know, like, they obviously know that, you know, I was raised by my mom as a single parent, you know, her being a single parent my entire life and whatnot and everything like that, so, like, you know, I definitely learned the value of family fairly early on, especially, you know, with the loss of my grandparents and a very early age, I was like nine, ten years old when they had passed or whatever. And then, you know, just all this different stuff, like it kind of showed me like, hey, you know, there's more to life than just this and this and this. Like, it's not about these materialistic things that people deem are important. And some materialistic things are important, you know, like a car, you know, you get you from point A to point B. But it's like, dude, even if you don't have a car, it's called public transportation, which is what I do, man. Do you think he ever actually takes a bus? No. It, well, Sally said that right. he, will, he wouldn't be able to. He, she thinks he'd get off on the wrong stop or go the wrong way. He, he's not He's not capable of it, she said. And he definitely would, without a doubt. Yeah. He'd end up walking <laughs> somewhere. Well, walking I can't around, see what you're saying. Sorry, what was that? He'd, lost, he'd end up walking around, just all. But you know, with his... Like mouth up and gazing everywhere, like where are we? And just staggering round, <laughs> like a lost animal. Yeah, yeah. Take the bus. We don't now. Like we take my mom's car and stuff. But before that, well, that was one of the things we considered um, having Cyrax take a bus up to Detroit. Uh, you know, we knew that he didn't have a phone. Um. Like, I couldn't imagine what would happen then. <laughs> you catch off a bus and, like, and you're not there. <laughs> I mean. And you wouldn't have any, I bet he wouldn't have any money to get back because he, think, he thinks that I'd take him back. I mean, how could anybody? I, I, <laughs> I'm surprised Sally didn't um, question me, really a lot sooner well you were very convincing i'd say like the first handful of calls were, were trust buildings yeah um yeah. and you had a like when they asked questions you you always had a, the right answer yeah i'm very good at thinking on my feet very good but um why would i mean she just saw me as a cash cow there's something that 
it because she couldn't believe you know this there was a potential for someone at last to take Cyrax off her hands I mean I wonder how which made me think with Caitlin I wonder how she felt about her because she'd be just taking on another retard at that point but it would also okay like uh, some racehorses have like a little donkey or something that they keep around as like their friend to keep them calm mm. uh, I, th I would say that Heather was that donkey for a while no, Heather, Heather was enraged quite a lot when um, she was there. Well, there, there were times where he actually left the internet and only released songs. That was for Caitlin. Well, I'm saying he did that when he was with Heather, too. Like he oh, was, did they? Right. Yeah, he, like he was away from the internet more than an unfathomable amount compared to today. Hmm. Yeah, Heather the donkey, I can't... Oh, yeah. I suppose. I don't think I would be his donkey. I, I obviously wind him up nicely. Finish me four times. Yeah? Yeah, what were the four times again? Well, one was because I scolded him for not listening to being able to have a conversation with you mm -hmm. and expecting an apology. Yeah. Then the other time was because I think I told him that he was rubbish at something. Huh. Um, the third time was because he felt like I was in league with you. <laughs> yeah, he, he should have trusted his gut. And then yeah. um, the fourth time, this time where it, someone had obviously said, "Look, um, I think you should reconsider that she's not what she claims to be." Huh. And he didn't work that out himself. Huh. Well, I think he finished me because. I've got evidence that I'd finally been able to say, well, I know you've been cheating all this time. So he lied. So it's not like he's that badly done to because he was a liar throughout. He lies about ev even little things like saying that Sally wanted to speak to me, he lied about. He's, there's something wrong with him. I mean, she just shrugged it off as, oh, it's one of his little foibles. But it's um, it's definitely a problem. Yeah, I, I I would have to agree with that. What do you think we did? We took the freaking public transportation bus everywhere <laughs> we went. Like, does does Ed have a car as well then? Yeah, yeah. Ed's got a car, and mom well, mom's got a um a Kia Brago car. Oh shit! Um. But would you mind, uh, really briefly, uh, if I if I played Tyler's song really fast? No, not at all. Okay. Uh, yeah, he's got a, he's got a new I one here. Need to just stay, have a little break for a couple of minutes. Sure. How do I know? Sure. Oh, one second here. Uh, yeah, I think it's phenomenal. Um, we, uh, one second here. Okay. Bush shot records on the ride, bitch. So I can't understand it. Why you want to kill me? After all the things I've done for you, I send you pizza and send just put it out of my breakfast. <laughs> do you reckon what am I can do? Side racks want to drink up all the time, drink up all the time, drink up all the time. Side racks want to drink up all the time. Turn 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 up all the time.
Tyler, I mean, uh, I wonder if he edited it himself. Um, huh. Highly impressive. Um, yeah, every single line was just brilliant. Um, as far as my favorite Tyler song, I think I'm going to go with and, – and I, 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 you guys seem to love this. and Maybe my taste is askew here. Uh, but I, his original one where he's kind of wailing and moaning like Cyrax, I thought was incredible. Um, I like that he kind of copied his style. Um, and then Scratch It was, you know what? This, this I, I do think actually, I'm going gonna, gonna to play it again one more time because it's, it's definitely deserving of it. What shot records on the ride, dude?
You know what? Yeah, this is actually growing on me the more I listen to it. Um, it's hard for me to pick a favorite Tyler and Wine song, though. Uh, each one of them brings something different to the table. Um, the first one's Outright Mockery was exceptional. Um, uh, I really liked this. Oh, you gotta. You gotta. Um, well worth the wait, I'd say. Hello? Hello. Yeah? Yeah, well, definitely worth the wait. I really like it. It's great. Considering upping his uh, share to 2% of Bloodshot Records mm, sales hi. and uh, taking away Schmeckles 1%. Yeah, give him Schmeckles. Yeah. Well, not like Schmeckles actually as well. Well, I, I think I'll just bounce it back between them as a motivational tactic. <laughs> I know. Oh, well, well, what about that motivational book that we we found the other day? A motivational book. The one. What was it called? Um, it was the one where the company owner. Um, no, I don't think it was a motivational book. I think it was the story of adult erotica. Of yeah, of course, a power play by. Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, R. W. Cloth. Uh, yeah. he, he's written a series of fart, gay fart books. Um, of course, believe me, I knew none of this more than a few days ago. Uh, it was like, unsurprising, but uh, it was—it's like a CEO who motivates his good employees who like the smell of his farts by like turning them on and farting around them, and he punishes his bad employees with uh, farts. Um, I don't even know how we got to that, you know, it's one of those—you know—when you just devil this little journey from like one conversation to the other. I don't know how we got to that. Yeah, if it was more than 12 pages, I would definitely consider buying it. But um, at the same time, I would imagine if you read one R.W. Cloth book, you've probably read them all. That cost there is only one. Well, I know there's several, but it's all about the same subject. Yeah, it's, it's all about farting. Yeah. 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 Um, I'm not into that, by the way. Speak for yourself. In speak for yourself. Um, well, there might be a problem then. Mm. I'm just gonna two more minutes. Sorry. Are you gonna continue playing the call? Uh yeah. Yeah, I'll be literally two minutes. Okay, sure. All right, you'll hold off on with them. GG Allen you cop. What did GG Allen do? GG Allen is an exceptional human being. Uh, I don't think that's a fair Whatever your grievance is, you probably are on the wrong side of it, in my opinion. Huh, so I guess Cyrax is just posting IP2 clips. Like that video he posted earlier, I guess, is popular in IP2. Um, so he's just ripping it off, essentially. Uh, Nothing new there. Oh my god, this thing keeps beeping. It's gonna close it. Jesus Christ. Which transportation, which is what I do, man. Like we take the free well. I can't say we always take the bus. We don't now. Like, we take my mom's car and stuff. But before... It's just not right why. You know, he doesn't... I can't imagine that he ever leaves the household except for his penis appointments. Um, we have seen him do some photography, but that was, like, several years ago. Oh, Green Skeletor. Um... Yeah, GG. Uh, who do you think that is? Is that is that static or tonic in your in your guess? Um, one of the two. What is this? Ah, yeah. Why is your police officer black? Yeah, it, it is strange. I think Cyrax declared IP two a terrorist network, and that somehow I'm in leagues with them. You know, just wildly false. Uh, there, 
I mean, the spam is just mindless, you know? It's just, uh, come up with something better than that. You know, like the NI, you know, so on and so forth. Greetings. Um, all right. For that, what do you think we did? We took the freaking public transportation bus everywhere we went. Like, does, does Ed have a car as well, then? Yeah, yeah. Ed's got a car, and Mom, well, Mom's got a, um, a Kia Borrego car, and then Ed's got a, uh, I'm not sure what kind of truck it is, but it's like a, um, it's like a Dodger or Ford truck. So oh, they yeah. Have, he made it. He told me that he needed a little step ladder to get into Ed's vehicle. Oh yeah, um, I know. And really fast, I know Gigi looked into like the the car's model. I don't know if he remembers it or not because he was able to decipher the uh, height of the ceiling to curb. Yeah, Gigi's amazing. Yes, yes, I would agree with that. that guy. Mm -hmm. I know what you mean. Yeah, they both have vehicles. That's good. Well, um, at least you know that you've got a ride sometimes if you need it. Oh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Like, I know for sure, like, you know, like, if I need a ride anywhere, I know that, you know, like, one of them will be like, all right, you know, let's go, or, you know, like, like, oh, man, like, I just don't think anybody really realizes, especially nowadays, the true importance of family. It's like, you can have all the money in the world. You can have everything in the world it's that funny, you ever want. But he essentially just, well, I, I wouldn't say relies on his family for money, but it's kind of Ed who he views his family. Yeah, I mean, he said, he said Ed's, Ed's got some medical issues. And he started saying, oh, oh, yeah, he needs to take time off work. He needs to, you know, steady because he's really in pain. And I went, well, isn't he the only breadwinner? And he went, oh, yeah, yeah, he'll have to go back to work then. Yeah, I think you didn't even ask him that. You asked him, like, so how is he going to buy you things? Yes. Yeah. And he went, oh, yes, he'll have to go back to work. Never yeah, right, right. Okay. right. Get back to work. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, what is all that compared to family, dude? Like, what's that compared to, you know, people that you have, you know, close relationships with? Like, what does any of that matter? Is that, is that what happens, you know, when you got mad with your mum that time and um, you choked her out? Is that, what, is that why she got mad because of a girl who was interfering with the family? Yeah, it was actually because, you know, one of my exes, like, at that time, I wasn't aware that that kind of stuff was possible to happen to me. What did she like, do? I, like, basically what my ex did was, like, she was very manipulative, and I didn't know it. I was unaware that that could actually be a thing at the time. Me being so young, I was unaware of, you know, what, you know, mental manipulation was. Like, I didn't know about any of that. Mm. So she had, you know, again. Sorry, we know the real story of what happened. Um, you know, he choked Sally out because she told him there's no way you walk into Kansas, it'd take you 14 days straight, it's snowing, so it'd probably take you longer, you'll die. And he's blaming the girl, saying that she was abusive to him. Oh. He's always the victim. Oh, how can you? How can any girl want a man that's a victim permanently? What a pathetic specimen! Okay, well, I mean, here's my theory: is that they're so abusive, and the Cyrax has become accustomed to this role, and the cycle just perpetuates in his mind, anyways. Did you say that about um, women who end up with um, abusive men that they end up? sort of attracting that type of guy yeah there you go but i just don't think that this is i just think he's a lying shit well three sides to every story as they say indeed <laughs> i think you're just a spurned lover to be honest you know that here yada 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 blah 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 and you know, like ultimately she just really put me in a dark place where like I was constantly lashing out at people, doing this, doing that. And it was 
was like, you know, my mom trying to help me and me being the way I was, I had to ultimately, you know, lash out at her and did what I did to her when I put my hands on her. It's, yeah, his, it must just be ding, 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 24-7 for him. That's what it sounds like. Yeah. And, like, after that, like, after that whole incident, I had realized, like, yo, like, this is a real fucking thing. Like, what, what the hell is this? What well, she said, where did she live then? Where did she want you to move to? Uh, I think it was, like, I'm trying to remember. I think it was like, where the fuck was it? I think it was like Kansas or somewhere like that. Like it was like it was a ways away. Like it was when we were still here in Ohio too. It was like while we were still here, I think it was like about a year after we moved into this house. If I'm not mistaken, but I'm not for sure. Ah, uh, so but, you, your mom didn't want you to move because she was too young. Yeah, I get yeah. yeah. And she kind of knew that my ex was like bad news. And me being the young dumbass that I was at the time, I was like, oh no, you know, she's a good person. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Really, she actually wasn't. Like, she was literally the worst thing that could have freaking ever happened to me. Like, she... Yeah, just always, always, always the victim. Yeah. Straight up. Like, well, like, I was just like, I wouldn't wish that shit on my worst enemy. Which I one was it? The enemy. one with the hook hand, or was it one <laughs> before that? No, I it was way before a candle or the first Heather or any of that. Like, it was like, I'd say about three, four, maybe five years before all of that went down. Like, what happened was I got with this shit. The one that I, that caused me to hurt my mom. <laughs> about four years later, How can any woman cause anyone to hurt their mom? I don't know. It's like, um, it's made me do it mentality. You know, when you asked me about what made him finish me the first time? Yeah. Well, the too far gone comment uh, really got to him. But it was because I was asking him, in any situation, you've got to ask yourself, what accountability do I take? What did I do to make this situation worse? And he was enraged by that. That That is what really, and that's what the too far gone uh, comment was attached to, saying, well, you know, either you can look at this objectively or are you too far gone? And I probably used two fancy words for him. Yeah. So the too far gone was the only thing he could manage to read. <laughs> yeah, I remember when he threw uh, speculate to accumulate at him, he was just, do what? What? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> do what? Uh... What a fucking idiot. Yeah. I met this girl named Rebecca, who, like, and looking back now, I'm kind of glad that I got away from. Uh, my ex, Rebecca, was the one that actually had started to, you know, manipulate me and, like, really abuse me mentally and emotionally. Because at the time, I was like, she had put me in a place where. Like, one day we were good, everything was fine, and we were happy, and then next day, like, it was just complete shit, and then she would turn around and be like, oh, I'm done with you, yada, 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 blah, 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 and then, like, she would just be like, you know, like, oh, I'm sorry, yada, 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 and that kept up for, like, the longest time, and I finally realized, like, yo, this shit is being a piece of that shit. Like, and it took me a long time to try to escape it. Like, it took about four years for me to get away from it. But, like, once I did, I realized, I was like, yo, like, this shit's real. Like, why is, like, I, I didn't, like, understand, like, what, you know, I had done to deserve it. And then, you know, once... I finally realized, like, yo, this shit's actually very abusive. I don't deserve that. That's kind of when I was able to say, like, hey, you know, like, I know that I can do, you know, obviously much better than this. And that's when I had met the first Heather. I know. It was weird. I did it, too. I know. I did it, too. 
Evans. Like, everybody finds that so freaking weird. And he was unsupported. <laughs> so, what was the one called that abused you then? Jean, did you say? They were, right? What, what, the girl who made you um, strangle your mum? Is it, What did you say she was uh, called? Uh, Jean? I honestly don't remember, honestly. Like, that was so hard. Yeah. Oh, it's <laughs> like, like you know, like it's a, it should be an easy to remember name, but it's actually like really weird. Like I honestly can't fucking remember the name because, like, it was like one of those weird things. I'm just like, I'm just sitting there thinking in my mind, like, dude, was your mom or dad drunk when they named you that? <laughs> How can you not remember the girl who made him strangle his mom? Huh? How can you not remember the girl's name who made him? Oh, yeah, right, right. Like, if it was really, if, if she had such a profound impact on him and such, like, a stranglehold, you would think that it would be something he never forgot. Yeah, exactly. The girl's name who made you strangle your mom? Jesus. <laughs> must have been trying to get you beaten up at school um right then so another thing what's happening with this lawyer and lava girl because i'm a bit suspicious i'll be honest with you yeah i know i am getting that way too a little bit but um well i said that she's um gonna be sending me the number here in a little bit i believe can i tell you what i think let me tell you yeah, because like what she's supposed to do, she's supposed to send the number to this lawyer. That way, I can get in contact with him. Because like he's seen, you know, what went on, and she was like, "No, like that's not okay. Like that's not cool." Yada yada yada. No, but Chan, hang it's on like, a minute. Just let me say this. No lawyer is going to say that they'll take on a case without talking to the plaintiff first. That's you. Yeah, no, and that's that right there is why I was like. All right, like, let me talk to this guy and see, you know, what goes on. Because, like, I do have family that are, you know, paralegals. My cousin Misty is actually a paralegal herself, but she doesn't deal in, you know, that kind of stuff in particular. She deals with, what is it that she deals with? Like, is it conveyancing, mortgages and things? Yeah, so, uh, like, she deals with, you know, stuff of, like, the nature that doesn't involve, like, you know, the actual legal system of, you know, doing this or that. She deals more into the legal side of, like, insurance and, yeah. you know, stuff like that. Yeah, processes. Like, so, like, even, even she said, she's like, yeah, that just sounds weird. And, like, and even, I even talked to her about what went on. And even she was like, no, like, what this guy's doing is not okay. Like, why are you not you know, doing anything? Well, it's like, uh, I'm actually trying, but it's so, not that easy. Like, yeah, uh, how, you know, I, I guess in his mind he is trying. Um, yeah, I gotta stop interrupting the call though. No, I understand, but I don't want you getting into deeper trouble because yeah, who is no, this man. woman? Do we know her? Do what? Lava Girl, I know you've spoken to her, but. You don't know her name. She's in Canada. Um, you know, I mean, she might have the yeah, best I intentions. Like, I do but... actually know her name. It's actually uh, Michelle. She, or at least that's the way she says it is. I'm not 100% sure on that. Like, I honestly don't know what to think about her at this point. Because, I mean, yeah, she has stood up for me and stuff. I will give her that. But at the same time, like, like how do we know that, like, you know, She's not actually, you know, pulling some dumb shit. Like, well, how do I'll tell you why I think it's odd. With Did you say something? No. Oh, sorry. Because 
anyone who because she'll do some stupid shit sometimes chance and you know that and i've told you that and she she just validates it yeah and that's why when she does do that stupid shit i'm just like what the fuck no but what i'm saying is is that instead of saying as a real friend or a real lover saying to you why did you do that you idiot you need to do this this is the best way in helping you she just kind of says oh yeah yeah you're doing right you're doing right and i don't believe anybody that just ask part of that i mean she might God, you know what no, she, like, she might have a thing for you so weird like and like and don't get me wrong like i understand that Kel's kind of pissed off because you know i finally flipped my shit oh did you Oh, yeah, like, he, like, you know, from, like, the live stream from earlier. Oh, and then, the other day, and then the other day when I went on the Tarnish channel, and I finally, like, I literally told Marty to fuck off. Like, I get where he's come from to a certain extent, but also he needs to realize, like, dude, this isn't just affecting, you know, my, my music. Like, this is affecting me on a... You know, on a whole personal level, dude. Like this guy is literally you know, well, screwing with my life here. Like you don't know. I don't think you've come across someone before who can deal with him. I'm telling you now, I can. I've spoken yeah, I to know. him. Like, you're one of the few people, you know, who can actually, who is actually, you know, stood up and said, "Hey, like, yo, like this shit's kind of fucking stop." Like. You know what he's doing is right, and like, and you're a hundred percent right on that. Like, the shit he's doing is just so screwed up. It's like, how do you even live? <laughs> like, gets me is how is he able to sleep at night knowing the bullshit that he does? I, I haven't a clue. I don't know, and I, I, was just I don't care him. whether he was asleep <laughs> or not. He's too. What was that? The Bill Smith comment. I was just about to reply to it. Oh yeah, brilliant, brilliant. Far gone. You know, I don't either. Like, I don't care whether he was asleep or not, but it's like, like it's one of those things where, like, if I were me, there's no way in hell I would ever be able to. I wouldn't be able to live with myself. Well, like, no, but no, you're like, I would be, a better you know, person. Right? You're a better person, aren't you? You're um, like. <clears throat> you're a nice person and you've got a good heart where he's just got like a little tiny pebble heart and that's it right, like, and, and, and it's sad because like and i told him this many times over like if he would just quit the crap that he's doing you know like and just quit the bullshit dude like move on with your life do something that is actually productive. Yeah. Instead of just sitting there doing all yeah. this crap, like you might actually get somewhere in life, dude. Do you think you know when he goes on about Jamie and how he's offended that you called him a murderer? Do you think he's really offended by that? Because I, I do believe that, you know, I do believe he's actually offended by that. That said, I'm not saying he's right. I'm not saying he's right. Yeah, yeah. I, but, I honestly don't know. That's actually a very good question. I honestly, yeah, you think it would be something that he would think and evaluate. But. I, I wish, I don't, uh, well, I said to you earlier, didn't you know, I could skip it over this. It pisses me right off. Oh, yeah. Fair. Personally, I'm not sure, like. If he is, like, he's got a very weird way of showing it. Do you think? Because I think he genuinely is. And he's not the type of guy, I don't think, to show yeah, when I, he's when he's bothered. But I, I yeah, think he's bothered. I, and that's actually a very good question, honestly. And if he is bothered, <laughs> he's the sort of person... Yeah, like, that, sorry, go yeah, if, he, if he is bothered by it, like... Then, dude, like, why not just, you know, do like I said, man. Like, do like I told you several times, you know. I just accept the apology Jesus. that I gave you right. five different times. <clears throat> you know, and 
move on with your life, man. So can like you I even talked to um, Chris J actually just last night. He's like a real good friend no. of mine. I actually have him on Facebook as well. I was sitting down talking to him, and even he's like, "Are you there?" Are you? Oh, sorry, yeah. I just, I mean, it sounds like I'm being a real horrible person to you by saying that, but I was just trying to get it through to him that. Do you not think that if someone's really bothered by something that you should maybe a bit more sensitive about an apology? And he just seems to think that, well, if, if you issue one, the other person should accept it. So if we're going to go with that thinking, then anything that we do going forward, as long as we apologise to him, he's going to accept it. Uh, yeah, that's, that is true. Um, very Christ-like approach <laughs> yeah turn the other cheek yeah yeah I'm, I'm more of a um an old testament but you know yeah yeah, yeah. uh and even like you know forgot my feelings you think he would do it for his own sake and his own sanity mm. yeah when he knows that this is the key right right like this is always what leads to to, to this and when he says, oh, well, yeah, I know it's fabricated, the story, but nevertheless, I'm going to go with it because someone said it at one point. Um, yeah. Yeah, I would agree. I apologize to him like five different times. Like, how many times do you have to apologize to this guy? It's like, I'm asking that same question, dude. Like, I'm literally here asking that same exact question like how many times am i gonna have to apologize to this dude wow. trying to get it through his head and see like hey he actually was being genuine when you know i had apologized to him well let's see what happens um what was what was this katrina luna do we know yet I honestly know, no. Like, I know that, like, she popped up in the chat the one day, and, you know, I will admit, like, she has been, you know, supportive of the channel and shit like that. But at the same time, you know, like you said, I don't know her true intentions. Like, I don't know if she's for real or if she's just, you know, talking out her ass. Like, I don't know. Like, that's actually a very good question. And I'm just suspicious of people who are a bit bad. You know, like when they start banning people for no reason. Because you need numbers. You know, you need numbers. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. Like, I do need numbers, yeah. But at the same time, though, it's one of those things where... Because I have noticed this, there are channels that are getting cloned a lot of the time. Yeah. <laughs> Mine is being cloned. Yeah, I know. I hate it when people do that. It's like, dude, why are you guys like <laughs> doing this channel cloning crap? Like, he doesn't get like, it. What do you think is gonna come of it, dude? Like, you know, and ultimately that's why uh, me and Courtney wound up turning on each other because the other day when she was in the channel, honest to God, thought that, that was a clone channel of hers because I knew that there was somebody in there that had you know cloned her channel. Just the way she acted just seemed a bit off. That's why I was like, all right, this person's obviously a fake. And me not knowing that, I was like, oh, shit. And then when she, like, messaged me, she's like, yo, like, that was actually me. You know, I'm really hurt. This and that. And I was like, dude, like, I'm sorry. I didn't know that was you. Like, there was somebody in there cloning your freaking channel. Like, I apologize, dude. <laughs> Yeah. Well, look, if you're mending bridges, that's good. So, what are we going to do about your mum then? Are you going to ask her? You what? Sorry, love. I was saying, like, I'm trying to anyway. Well, this is like, look, that's all. Let's try. Um, yeah. In a way, it's a good thing you got this off your chest today. You know, you had a little bit of a meltdown. We all do it. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah especially when you get pushed to the extent that. I got pushed too, like, it just finally got to the point, because I tried talking to him on Discord earlier, like... Oh, Marty had, started, like... Yeah, like, I had a phone call with Marty earlier, like, about two, three hours ago, I told him, I'm like, dude, I apologized to you, like, five different times, 
why is that so hard for you to what you know, made you call him uh, what made you call him in the first instance like because he had like sent me a message and this and that and, blah, 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 and i'm like all right like let me freaking call this dude up and like find out like why he's doing all this and then he went on this whole thing about how oh the apology you gave me wasn't good enough and i'm like dude it was a freaking honest apology man like what more do you want well i was 110 percent genuine with my apology bro and for you to go off yeah like i was on like all those times I was, no, I was 110% honest with him the whole time. They were the and worst like, apologies I've ever like, heard. I'm being yeah. honest with you here, man. Like, I'm straight up being honest with you. Uh, Dross asked a question. How often did he, did he ask about your life interests? Yeah, just, he never, he, he never did. He doesn't know anything about me. In fact, it took Lava Girl to start questioning questioning him about me for him to realize that um what my name was he, he just you know if if someone just said right right what's your girlfriend's name and he gone tange <laughs> and his surname's cat that's what he just said he, he didn't he didn't have a clue even dad sent him emails as well yeah you would think that it would be something that resonates yeah he's um he doesn't know a thing. If he, if he, if someone asked him, right, tell me something about her. He, well, he just call me a cunt bag. That's it. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, you would think too that maybe there's this, a potential scenario where he doesn't know your name at a point where he should, you know, and he would be hesitant to ask. It's something he already should know. But you would think that if you if you'd sent him an email and he had a clue of a way to find out that you know maybe that's plausible. I don't know. Well, I think when when Lava decided to get involved. By the way, everybody, we are me and Lava are friends, so don't think that we're enemies. But when she did get involved, she. Um, she obviously asked him various questions and he went away and had a look, but he didn't think to until that point. <laughs> and he only started calling me by my name after after that point. He'd even proposed to me and started calling me his wife wow. before that. Even before you got to the Roach Motel? Yeah, it, it was pretty... It was in, it was before I spent quite a while just um, messaging him, no phone calls. Mm -hmm. So for about how long do you think it was before? Uh, I think it was for about a month. We, I just managed to keep it to um, DMs. Yeah, yeah, it's a. And um, he he was he was serious, you know, he was saying serious things. But I, I actually got the opportunity to look at. Um, other messages that he'd sent to other girls and it, exactly the same you know it's just paste you know copy paste it's yeah just exactly the same things and this so far the convo, convo has been 90 percent him talking about bullshit and 10 percent tens trying to get a word in yeah that's i, I mean that's how it goes I, there's some conversations where i've had to scream at him to shut up it's frustrating yeah, or prime him before I call him saying, look, you have got to promise that you'll let me speak. And he cannot, he cannot do it. <laughs> Even with his girlfriend. Even with his girlfriend. I think Sally is the only one who can really, and she, and she knows how to do it. Chant! Yeah. That, and that's what I ended up having to do. <laughs> yeah. I, I think, really, the perfect... Um, girlfriend was um, Caitlin. Caitlin. Yeah, they were perfect for one another, and Without I'm so doubt. Glad it. <laughs> Without a doubt, um, I really think they would have been perfect. So they were soulmates. 
There were. Yeah. And it's not often you find a soulmate, is it? Mm -mm. Do you think, though, that you sometimes get so animated and angry, you can't get... The thing is, I think with you, you're so passionate um, when you get into a situation like that, that you just, you kind of get heated. Um, uh, did he see what you look like? And if he did, it was before he even asked you to marry him. Yeah, I sent him, I did send him some pictures and he um, he has them, he used one of them on the, um, the track he did. Your betrayal? Yeah, the betrayal one. He used one there. Um, when he's talking about the, when he's talking about the lesbian one, it's unfortunately when I turned the camera on when I wasn't looking the best or feeling well, and it looked like mm. it, it was terrible. Uh, is that why he was telling you to just become a full dyke and shave your head? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, but when oh. you look at the pictures, obviously, you know, you can see that's not the case, but. Mm. And he used the fucking picture as well. Yeah, you would think that he would use the unflattering one. Yeah, let's not give him ideas. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah right, 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 right. Hey, exactly. bitch. Hey, bitch, coming right at you, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Quite He's quickly, I, I think he just oh, wants to... Know. Sorry, what was that? It's okay. Carry right. on. Yeah, oh, I definitely do, like, for sure. Like, I will admit, there are times where, you know, I do get set off to that certain extent. But also, like, when I went off on Marty, I was like, bro, like, you are literally taking shit far beyond what it needs to be, dude. Like, I even told him this. I'm like, dude, let everything go. You know, move on with your life. Let everything go. And you're like, quit all this crap, dude. Well, I'll tell you what dude. we'll do. You know what? Lava Girl, can you get her on a call tomorrow on a Discord and, and we'll talk to her together uh, to get to the bottom of it? Yeah, I should be able to. I was in Austin or Zoo. I should be able to. I don't see why I wouldn't be able to. Well, I'm, you know I'm not going to steer you wrong. I'm going to with you, so. Oh, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. I know you wouldn't. And like... I've got to tell you this, some people question whether, um, why, I, this sounds conceited but it's not, but some people question why I want to be with you and I'll tell you, was quite short, he had a condition um, where it was oh. very short, it was under five foot and... Yeah, just setting up the tiny Tim stuff perfectly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. This Laying the seeds for a, a dog pencil bombing. It's kind wow. of I don't. It's not something that I you know. It's it's something I'm used to. It's not a you know. A, right, an issue. Exactly. You're right. See, you're and see. That's one thing I definitely do. You know that I've definitely respected you about you since day one when you showed up on the channel. Like. You've done nothing but, you know, be respectful. Like, you show people, like, hey, it don't matter what this dude fucking looks like. You know, I'm still going to fuck with him whether you guys want me to or not. Like, you know? Yeah. I'll tell Are you, by the way? I am literally five foot three. I thought you were shorter than that, you know. Yeah, I know. A lot of people think that I'm shorter, but it's like, no, dude, I am five foot three. Well, I thought Heather was five foot three. Uh, the Heather that I was with, she's like five foot four, I think. There's so no she way. Yeah. 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 She was like literally. What was that? There's no way, there's no way that Heather was um, only an inch taller than him. She, she was massive compared to him. And I don't mean width ways, I mean. You know, well, she was as well. Uh, well, yeah, but I mean, I'm not being insulting, it's just that she was when when you, you saw him laying down with the, that suicide um thing and you saw him laying on her lap. Do you remember? Yeah, of course, he, he looks like a child, yeah, he looks like, like almost like a, a doll, yeah. And if he believes that people don't, you know. Uh, I don't, 
I don't need to find someone attractive, blah, blah. blah. That's absolute bullshit. Of course you do. And he still, and he believed it. Well, I, of course, I think it was set up by your major brother. It makes it sound like I've got um, a midget fetish. Well, I mean, would that be worse than a brother fetish? It would be a midget brother fetish, yeah. No, the brother well, well, yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm just wondering if one is necessarily worse than the other. No, uh, the brother fetish obviously would be worse. Uh, although the <laughs> I'm just, I'm just saying. You know, they do say that girls do tend to go for guys that do remind them of their fathers for like a security thing. Hmm. And I, you know, I can, I can see that actually. Hmm. So. Interesting. It was like one inch taller than I was. So it was like, it was, it was weird, but it wasn't too weird. Because I kind of like had to, you know, kind of tippy toe it a bit, but at the same time, I was like, eh, I'm used to this. <laughs> How tall is Jake, your friend? Because he looks absolutely nasty. He's like fucking, I think he's like fucking six, six, one, six, two. Right. And he's, a, he's a tall dude, right? He's tall as shit. Every time I look at him, I'm like, Dude, you made it tall. My cousin Cody, he's like fucking seven foot two, and I'm like seven foot two. I see you. I mean, that's an amazing differential. It is. Do you think maybe he's just six feet tall and he told Cyrex that to make him feel better? Yeah, I've thought that absolutely, <laughs> and I've not. Or or he's got um. A pituitary gland condition because it can make you very tall as well. Hmm. Very fragile though. It's like still like two snap candles. It just, yeah. Yeah, that's true. It's not often you see a, a white guy that tall, is it? Um, mm, they're out there. Yeah, they're out there, but it's not like I mean that's why. Well, yeah, I'll show up on that. All right. My like, cousin Cody that lives in Florida. Mm. Oh, dang, you're tall. How's the weather up there? Yeah. Good one. Like, every time I see him, I'm just standing there thinking, damn, I feel short. <laughs> <laughs> so, what? Well, this tall dude, I'm a fucking midget. <laughs> oh, you're a midget. Oh, give up. You, well, what's the difference between a dwarf and a midget? <laughs> <laughs> Great question. I would say head size. Just like as a simple thing. Well, I thought one was um, a little person and the other one more of a mystical creature, but that's a goblin I was getting mixed up. I thought that the midgets in proportion and the dwarf is the big head, little arms, little legs. I, I just discovered something that, that is pretty uh, interesting. I guess the state of Ohio has reopened their live horse racing. Oh, oh, no, God. Goody. I honestly don't know. <laughs> well, I'm honestly, I'm not sure. Like, I know a dwarf is, like, super short, and I know a midget is, like, four foot and under, so, like... All right. Like, you definitely have got me on that one, like, for sure, like... Rushy, but I've got to ring somebody back after you about this bloody pension plan that I've got myself into. So, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, um, you're totally fine. What I'm going to do is this, so this is the plan if you are all right with it. Um, yeah. We're going to, you're going to ask your mum if she'll speak to me on Thursday. Yeah? Yeah, sounds good. And Lava Girl tomorrow so we can. Definitely. I promise. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, like if he does anything that you know that you're not cool with, by all means, like you feel like you have to go off on her. Hey, 
I'm not. It is what it is. I'm not going to go off. I don't go off on anyone. I stay calm. Yeah, yeah no, I'm just saying. Like, yeah. You feel like she's doing something that you know you're not okay with. Well, questioning you know, like, about it, yeah. Yeah, like if you feel like, hey, you know, like this isn't right. You know, and you feel like you have to say something by all means, like be my guest. Yeah. Well, I'll be very respectful. I, I don't, you don't have to shout and scream. I can get a point yeah, across yeah, without. Yeah, absolutely. Like, like, she's not like Mari. Like, you don't have to sit there and, like, yell at her just to talk over her. Like, what? Well, I, to be honest, I would <laughs> actually, I understand the category, so that that's, oh, you know, oh my that's God. that. Well, just right then, comment on Well, that. sweetie, I'll speak to you tomorrow. Um, we'll speak on our own before, yeah. if we can. He has admitted numerous occasions that he only does that because he knows he has not a cat in hell's chance of having a conversation with either one of us that wouldn't show him up to be the horrible person he is. So he feels like he's got to scream and not let us get a word in edgeways just to make himself feel better because he's a loser. It's his best tactic, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. And, it, you know, it, it, does, it does work to a point, I suppose, but it just makes him look even more deranged. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, it seems to bother Ed sometimes, too. Yeah. Poor guy. Mm -hmm. He's probably enjoying himself somewhere, though, right now. Um, that. Um, and then yeah. on Thursday, when I speak to your mum... If you let us speak, if you either give me a phone number or something like that, we can speak on Discord, which is probably easier. Um, yeah. And um, we'll have the girls will talk without the men folk there, get to know each other, yeah. talk about things like tampons and shit. <laughs> I'm gonna go because I've got to sort this work stuff out. Um, but. <laughs> I'm glad that I've been able to make you feel better. Yeah, I'm, I can honestly say that I'm glad that I got somebody like you that actually keeps me grounded and <laughs> actually keeps me level-headed. Yeah. Well, I'm trying my best. I really am. And, you know, I, I was... Mean, I can honestly say you're doing... I, this is just coming from me straight up. Considering all the shit that I've been through, you're doing a lot better job than most because, you know... Like you say, like you could have walked away plenty of times, but like you sticking around, like that definitely is like at that point it shows. Yeah, I guess Cyrax is only twenty five minutes from Northfield Park harness track. Okay. So, but I think like once my mom sees that like you're actually in this shit the long haul, like I really feel like you know, like that's gonna be a huge, you know. Be. I really feel like she's definitely going to respect that 100% because, you know, not many actually have done that. So for you sticking around like that, like, that's huge. Well, I, I think I'll re I mean, I can understand where the concerns would come because you've been through a lot of shit. Um, she's oh, not yeah. going to want you to go through it again because... It, I mean, yeah. it must be terrible in the house with that atmosphere um, when you, you know, you're oh, so yeah. mad and you're screaming and stuff because it's <laughs> um, and then she'll be concerned for your mental health. So, right then, I'll message you later. Alrighty, sounds good. And uh, I'll, uh, I'll speak to you tomorrow. That's good to me. Okay then. Love you. Ugh. Bye. 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 Well, nothing's more loving than telling him that you're going to kiss his wiener and make it feel better. Stop it. What's, <laughs> there's nothing more loving than that. Um, well, uh... <laughs> there's it. Um, not that I can think of, anyways. But I, I accidentally. When I first did a stream with him, um, I wanted him to do a test 
so I told him, I was trying to, you know, butter him up because I was going to make him look a bit stupid on this stream. And um, so the first thing I said, I said to him, I've got something uh, I need to tell you. And he goes, what? Well, and I went, I really love you. And it sounded so sincere. <laughs> and, oh, God, he left it up. He left it up on his channel and people heard it. Mm. And commented in the Discord about how disgusting it was, and they were right, but I was so embarrassed. Well, um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, what is it? I guess it's two and a half hours here. I think that's probably uh, ample. I think we've done what we came here to do. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Um, I'm going to play a Tyler song one more time uh, on the way out here. Um, yeah, everyone, thanks for stopping by. Uh, the Cyrax calls, you know, they, they're they all just like little puzzle pieces in a, in a bigger picture. And, uh, you yeah. know, this, this is, I guess, like the calm before the storm, before he starts descending into madness. And Yeah, we can say it. You know, are you going to tell us about uh, the day that we were supposed to go down? And just, I do have the calls and that's a whole, I mean, that'll probably be quite a big stream because that there's a lot to unpack there. And I want to do it all at once so that you get all the context, what happened leading up to it and how I planned everything. Yeah. So. For sure. Well, uh Tangerine Cat, uh, thank you very much. Uh, everyone, thank you for stopping by. And uh, we'll see you soon. All right. Night. Bloodshot Records on the ride, bitch. 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 I can't understand it. Why you want to kill me? After all the things I've done for you I send you pizza and send just put it out up on my breakfast list So you threaten me, what am I to do? Cause I rise one, two, drink up all the time, drink up all the time, drink up all the time I want to see you jerk up all the time, jerk up all the time. It turns up all the time. It turns up all the time. It turns up all the time. Jerk all the time. You like to jerk off all the time. Jerk all the time. So when I see you in bed, boss, just hang it out, scratching. You said a big bit to everyone, man, you see. You can't get with the companionship, you're always out and kidding. You choose to wake up whenever you go, please. Cause I rise one, two, jerk up all the time, jerk up all the time, jerk up all the time. Cause I rise one, two, jerk up all the time, jerk up all the time. Jerk all the time, jerk all the time, jerk all the time. Jerk all the time. You like to jerk off all the time. Jerk all the time. Jerk up all the time. You must jerk, jerk up all the time. Jerk up all the time. Jerk up all the time. Jerk up all the time.